Hello, everyone. This is Kevin DeLeon, your learning consultant with Cengage Learning. Um, today, I wanted to make a video about how to use the app See Now over here on the side. Um, the See Now app is the app that powers um, most of the quizzing and some of the tests or exam um, functionality inside some of the chapters here. Okay, like this quiz right here. Okay, we would be powered by C C Now. Also, if you'd like to create your own test, you'd use the C Now app as well. So I wanted to do a quick video about it. So uh, the way that you use it is you come over here and you click on the app, and it's located right here for everyone that is using it. Once it opens, you're going to see a list of activities, quizzes or tests that um, are already loaded into the learning path for each chapter. As you can see here, we have the chapter one quiz, chapter two, chapter three, so on and so forth. Um, you can use this search bar up here to search for any items that, you've, that, um, that you need to look for, okay? Over here, you can print this quiz if you want to use a paper copy and hand it out in class. You can save it to your computer. You can duplicate it and maybe rename it and add questions or take questions away if you like. Um, and you can also edit the um, item that's already created. You can edit the information, which is like the name of the uh, quiz, those types of things. Okay. The content would be changing some of the questions, maybe taking questions out or putting questions in. Okay. If it doesn't work with the type of quiz that you'd like to give for that specific chapter. Or you can edit the assignment options. And the assignment options would be things like, how many takes does it get? Is the time unlimited or are there a specific, certain, uh, specific amount of minutes? The score. Um, typically, some of these, most of these quizzes will be defaulted as to counts towards grade in your MindTap. But if you'd like to make it practice, you can click this practice button right here. And there are many other items down here below as well. Uh, maybe you want to give um, feedback and answers, um, a bunch of different items. Okay, so that's where those options are. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is about how to create a test. That's something that a lot of my instructors have asked me about. So the way that you do that is you come up here to the top where it says create assignment. And you choose uh, which one you'd like. So in this case, we're going to choose a test. Okay, we're going to give it a name. How about example two? Okay. You'll notice here also that the test banks that are normally in your Cengage instructor account are loaded into almost every single one of your mind taps. Um, so you almost no longer have to go to your Cengage instructor account to get the test banks and no more copying and pasting and fitting them into your Blackboard. You can choose the questions right from your test bank. You can put them into mind tap. You can even bring them into Blackboard if you like, and they will all be auto graded for you, allowing you to assess your students um, in a much more manageable way for you. Um, and everybody I've talked to have been pretty excited about that. So depending on where you'd like to pull content from, you need to um, hit the plus to expand to see the different items. So let's say I want to make a, ch a chapter test for chapters one, two, and three. So I'll select those chapters. I'll click continue. Okay. If I wanted to add more chapters here, I could, and I would click this update button, but I don't. Okay. In some cases, if there's different difficulties, I can filter by some of these items. Um, gradeability is automatic or manual. Let's say I don't want any manual graded. I only want automatic graded. So I'll click that, and then I'm going to click filter to save those changes, as you can see. Now, in those, in those three chapters, there are 590 multiple choice questions for me to look through. That's a lot, and I don't think I'll be able to manage getting through that many. So I'm going to make this a much more manageable number, and it will pull an equal amount of questions for each of the three chapters that I've chosen. In this case, maybe I think I can get through 80 questions, okay? So it's going to pull an equal number amount for each three chapters, and you'll know which chapter they're from and what section right here. This is chapter one, section one, chapter one, section three, chapter one, section four, so on and so forth. And if I want to look at the item, I can click the box down below here. It will preview the question for me in case, and if I like it, I can click this include button and move it over. Okay, same thing here. Preview the question and include. 
And I'll do this until I have selected all the questions um, that I want to include in the test. And you can see that they change from chapter one to chapter two and then chapter three. But let's say as I build this test, let's say I liked the choices that I got for chapter one and chapter two, and I've selected those. But my chapter three questions, the ones that they chose for me, um, I just didn't care for. Or maybe I wanted to add some different questions. So I can scroll down here and click add more questions. Okay, maybe I only want to now look at chapter three because I've already chosen all my ones for chapter one and two perhaps. Okay, and I'll update. Okay. Again, I don't want anything manual, so I'll click filter. Okay, here we go. Now I have 205. I still don't want to look through all 205, but since these are all only going to be for chapter three, maybe I can look through 50 here. Okay, so that'll give me more options than I had before, but still a manageable number for me to search through. Okay, so now these are all chapter three. Okay. And maybe I've already looked through and I like all of these and I can move those over. Great. And I click continue. Now I'm going to want to choose some of these items. What's the score? So maybe the possible score I'll make 10. I'm going to allow my students two takes. It's going to be timed. I'm going to give them 30 minutes. Shuffle the questions for each student and each take. Um, Maybe I'm going to be giving them this exam in a computer lab and I don't want any students getting the same answers at the same time next to each other. Okay, And there are some uh, regenerate algor algorithmic question options here um, as well. Okay, And then I'll say create test. I can always come back here and change these options. This is the test that I just made. It's example two. If I wanted to edit those options, I would come over here to edit. If I want to delete it, I can delete it, save it to my computer, or print just like normal. Okay, so now your test has been created. So how do we get access? How do we get your students to be able to access this test? Well, that's a very good idea. We can put it anywhere we like. We can sit it, stick it in chapter one, chapter two, or at the unit level where all the chapters are. Just to be easy, we'll put it there. So we'll come up to the plus button. We're going to come to add activity, which is the third option. We're going to click the See Now option because that's where we made the test. And then we're going to search inside of the See Now app and find the test that we made. So here's the list down at the bottom. Again, I could have used the search bar if I wanted to. I'll click the button over there for example two. I'll click Continue. Again, it's going to want to ask me some of these questions, but it remembers what I um, what options I saved earlier. I'll click continue. Now I have the option for writing a description. I can make available and due dates. Maybe I want to make a due date for tomorrow at 11 p.m. Um, instead of being at the bottom, I want it to be all the way at the top by we'll make it since it was chapters one through three, we'll make it before chapter four so students can see it and we'll click submit. And there you go. This is our test right here. So we explored the CNOW application. We talked about how to make um, any option edits or adjustments. Uh, we showed you how to create a test and add more questions and then also how to add that test into the learning path. Um, thank you very much for listening.